So remember, we've got different types of banks which we have uh, uh, in the market. So these different uh, 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 banks, they offer different uh, services to suit their customers' uh, needs. But in our today's lesson, we're going to look at uh, the common uh, type of accounts which are found uh, with uh, nearly every financial institution which we have, uh, for example, like here in uh, Zambia. So before we can go on uh, looking at uh, the types of uh, accounts which are offered by these uh, different uh, financial institutions, I want us to look at what you need to do when you want to open an account with uh, the bank. So when you want to open an account with a bank, you are required first of all to be able to look at uh, which bank you want to open an account uh, with. So remember, we said we've got different types of banks. We have, uh, uh, we have ABA Bank, we have Zanaco, Indo Zambia Bank. All these, they offer these types of uh, accounts. Then from there now, you need, to visit, you need to visit a branch where you want to open your account. Then when you visit this uh, branch, you are going to see the bank manager or any officer who is going to help you open this bank account. So the first thing you need to do is... Uh, you need to go with uh, uh, an identity card. So this card could be one, an NRC, it could be a passport or a driver's license. This helps to identify you as the person who wants to open this account. Then second, you need to fill in an application form. So on this form, you are going to put in your details, you are going to put in a also, if you are working, you're going to, uh, to put your employer's address. And also, if you are a person who is in business, you're going to also include that to say you are a person who is in business. Thereafter, on this same form, you're going to provide what we call evidence of an employer, for example, if you're working. And also, if you're in business, you need to be able to give evidence to show, to show that uh, you earn that amount of money from your business. Then also the other thing which you need to provide uh, before the account can be opened is a recommendation. So a recommendation in here, you need to be able, someone who has an account with that bank, to be able to recommend you to say that, yes, I know this person, for example, if I mean to share want to open an account with the, uh, with, um, with the bank, I need to find someone to recommend me to say, yes, I know Mrs. Chiaze, and then I've known her for a number of years and so on. But so in case of anything, that person who recommended me can be able to be contacted so that I can be, be able to get more information about me who wants to open an account with that, that bank. Then also, you need to provide what we call a specimen signature. So this assessment signature, this is the signature which you are going to be signing every time you visit the bank to make any transaction. So if you are going to uh, give a different signature, then they will know that no, you are not all of this account, either you want to steal and so on. 
So we call that as a placement signature. So these are the things which we need to provide uh, to the bank when you want to open an account. Now that, uh, you, uh, now that uh, we've looked at um, what you need to do when you want to open an account, now we can look at now the types of accounts which one can open. So one of the accounts which you can open is what we call a current account. So current accounts, as I mentioned, this is a, an account uh, which is open mostly by business people, but even individuals, you can also open what we call a currency account. So I'm going to explain uh, some of the features of this account, which is called uh, a current account. So with one of the features of a current account is this account has got no minimum balance. So what does that mean? So it means that every time you want to withdraw money from this uh, account, you can withdraw up to zero because you don't need to leave any amount of money in this account. So it has no minimum balance. The other feature of a current account is that uh, this is a non-interest earning account. It is a non-interest earning account. So what do we mean that it is a non-interest account? What it means is that if that there's any amount of money in this account, no interest will be given to, to you because this account, you can withdraw as many times as possible because there's no minimum balance. Then this account also, the other feature is that uh, it is the only account where a checkbook is uh, issued. So it is an account where a checkbook is issued. So every time as an account holder, you want to pay someone using a check, or either you want to withdraw money from your account, you're going to use what we call a checkbook. Then also this same account, which is called the current account, it is the only account which offers what we call overdrafting facilities. Overdrafting facilities. So, what we mean when we say overdraft facilities? So, for example, uh, if you are if you are a business person, you want to uh, to pay some bills and you don't have enough money in your account, you are able to go and this seek or see the bank manager to be able to give you this facility. So, for the way itself, overdraft it means you can overdraw uh, your, your account. Uh, you can overdraw your account so that at the end of the day, now you start paying it installments over a short period of quality of time and then the maximum you can go is in one year so we call that as, as an overdrafting facility so this is how what happens with a current account then the second account we're going to look at is what we call a saving account So this is also another account which is offered by banks. So from the way itself, savings. So the savings account in terms of uh, the features. This is an account which is uh, uh, which was uh, meant for small savers who have a regular income. So it means that uh, the mom, uh, if you have some form of income, you're able to save some money in uh, an account called uh, savings. So the features of this account is that uh, this account is an interest any account.
So meaning that what, uh, uh, whatever amount of money you have in your account, at the end of the day, the bank will give you uh, interest because uh, this account, the other feature is that it has what we call a minimum balance. So meaning that with this account called savings account, so this minimum balance is going to be different from bank to bank. So other banks, they can say either the minimum balance is equal to 100 quarter, others is 300 quarter and so on. So every time you withdraw money from this account called savings account, this money should remain in the account. That is why it is called a minimum balance. You don't need to overdraw this account, for example, like if it was in a current account. So that's what we are saying that this account has a minimum balance. The third, uh, the, uh, the third feature of, um, of, uh, of uh, saving accounts is that you can make many withdrawals as you can, provided uh, that every time you make that withdrawal, this amount of money called minimum balance should be able to remain in this account. So this is what we call a savings account. It is an interesting account and it also has a minimum balance which should, uh, should remain every time you make a withdrawal. Then the other type of account which we have is what we call a deposit account. So meaning that the interest which you are going to get in a deposit account will be higher than, for example, in a savings account and also in a current account if interest is going to be given to, to you. Then as we said that uh, this is a purely savings account. The other feature is that it has uh, limitations in terms of uh, how many withdrawals you are going to make, uh, for example, in a month, in a quarter, or either in a year. So meaning that... So, for example, they're going to say either in a quarter, you're only be able to withdraw once. Once you make a second withdrawal in that quarter, they're going to be charged what we call a penalty fee because you are, the, the feature is that uh, you're only allowed to make one withdrawal in a quarter. So that's what we mean when we say it has the limitations in a withdrawals. So with this uh, deposit account, way back, uh, you, you some time back, when you talk about withdrawals, they are, you're supposed to give uh, a banker a notice of uh, seven days before you can make that withdrawal. But knowing that we are living in the world of technology, things are changing. But now all you need to, to do is that to, to tell you that uh, you're only able to make either one withdrawal in a month or either one withdrawal in a, uh, in a um, half yearly or either one withdrawal in a, uh, a year because this is a purely savings account. Because remember this money which you're going to keep with this bank, this is the same money which is being used to offer uh, loans to different uh, customers or to uh, different part clients. So you need to be able to give them notice to say that uh, I want to draw money from my account because it is a purely savings account. Then uh, the other type of account which we have is what we call a fixed deposit account. So 
a fixed deposit account for where it's so fixed. So meaning that with this fixed deposit account, this is an account that is uh, meant for investment uh, period. So meaning that now, for example, if you don't have, if you have in, uh, money where you don't have any purpose at that particular time, then you can open what we call a fixed uh, deposit account. So the features of this account is that, one, we are saying that uh, there is a minimum deposit which is required. But this minimum deposit is going to vary from bank to bank. So others, they can say either they can start with, uh, it could be a, 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 a 1,000 quarter, it could be a 5,000 quarter, it could be 10,000 quarter, and so on. So the minimum balance is going to be different from bank to, to bank. So with this account called fixed post account, you are required to have another account with the bank where their interest is going to be deposited into. So for you to have a fixed post account, you need to have another account with the same bank. That is where the amount of interest will be deposited into. Or if you want to, if you don't have any plan for that money, you can be able to reinvest them both at the principal and the, uh, and the interest for another period of, watching of time. So here the bank would, uh, it will, give you, uh, will give you, for example, ask you how, for how long do you want to give this money? So it could be for a month, two months, three months, and so on. So once you give the bank, you say that you want to keep the money, for example, for three months. Meaning that no withdrawals will be made in this account until the period expires. So no withdrawals are going to be made until the period expires. So that is what uh, the fixed post account is all about. And this in account also, it is a high earning interest account. So the more money you have in this account, the, the higher the interest you're going to get at the end of uh, the period where you, you're going to agree with uh, the bank. So this is, uh, the, uh, these are the features of uh, a fixed uh, deposit account. Then we also have another account uh, which is called a joint account. So a joint account from the way itself joint. It means that uh, this is an account uh, which, can, uh, which is opened by more than one person. So minimum it could be two people. So with a, joint uh, with a joint account, for example, you can open uh, a savings account, but in, with that case, you're going to be either two people, three people who are the owners of that account. That's what we mean when we say a joint account. It is simply an account which is opened by more than one person. Minimum should be two people. And then the maximum can be as many as, the, uh, as many people as the, you can. But you're going to choose them, uh, how many people can become a uh, signatories to this account which are going to open as a joint account. Then we also have another type of account which is a save as you earn. So save as you earn as an account also, this is an account uh, which, is, uh, 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 which is offered for example for people who are working where you want to start saving money bit by bit for either for you want to buy an asset, you want to go to school, you want to send your children to school and so on. So you need to open what we call a save as you earn account. So the more money you save in this account, the more money you're going to earn or the more interest you're going to get at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the period. So these are some of uh, the common accounts which are offered by different 
financial institutions. So, I'm going to, uh, to recap what, we've, uh, what we're learning uh, today. We looked at uh, types of accounts, and one of the accounts is what we call the current account, which is one, uh, an account which is a, uh, which is a non interest earning account. We have a savings account, which is uh, uh, an uh, interest earning account, but the interest is quite minimal compared to these other accounts which we're going to, uh, which I will look at. Then we also have what we call a deposit account, which is a high earning interest account. And then with this account, uh, you will have, uh, you, you are allowed to have what we call, uh, uh, allowed, you, you are, uh, this is a purely savings account where you are allowed to make just either one withdrawal in a quarter, it could be in a year and so on. Then we have a fixed deposit account where we say that uh, with this account, it is a high earning interest account. And then also you need uh, to be able to tell the bank for how long do you want to keep this money with the bank. So it is you to give them uh, that period which you want to keep this amount uh, with them. So uh, next time when we are going to meet, we are going to look at uh, the documents which are used in banking. So at the end of the day, to be able to come uh, to, to, to know what kind of documents are going to come across as to do the banking uh, services. So we're going from uh, you're going to get your exercise uh, which is attached to this uh, lesson. And then for more information about uh, what we are discussing today, you can uh, you can uh, check in the business studies book nine where you, uh, all these uh, information is going to be to be found.